Welcome back. This is still the morning brief. And on the final stretch, you know how we always take it soft and easing you into the weekend. So we have on the morning brief today, he's a Nigerian singer and rapper. His genre is uh, Afrobeat, pop, hip hop. I mean, he's been through all of it. He is Dapo Oyebanjo. Known as the band, you know him as a cocoa master. Some call him Bangali. Is right here on the show with us. Thank you very much for joining us on the morning brief. And it's good to Thank see you. Thank you so much. I'm the band, Oski uh, band, uh, like you, my Jamaican friends call me. Capella, uh, like my South Africans call me. Mensa, like my Ghanaians call me. Frike, <laughs> like my Liberians call me. Usinawata Burogada Yawan. Importer, <laughs> exporter. And oh, I must God. greet you all. Especially, mm -hmm. I, I, I just had to expect that that will happen. So welcome, welcome officially to this. So where have you been, the Thank band? You. That's a question a lot of people are asking. Where <laughs> have you been? Oh my God, um, it's been a wonderful 20 years journey, you know, uh, and that's why it's exciting for me, celebrating 20 years since 2004. Uh, it's a journey that, you know, I want everybody to follow me through and I would like you to know through my eyes. So I'm here for you. I've always been here. Mm. I have always been here. What's the latest? What's going on with you at the moment? Oh, you know, so yesterday we had such a great fulfilling time because uh, my album literally came out today, like into the midnight. And um, the title of the album is The Entertainer, the sequel, which is like uh, chapter two to the previously released Entertainer Chapter 1 in 2008. And um, it's a specific one for me because uh, in celebrating 20 years, like you said, you said, where have I been? I said that the journey um, from 20 years ago just needed to carry all my fans along. And I prepared specifically for them for this year so that they can see. And it's not changed. I'm still the entertainer. And I cannot wait for you all to listen to the album. Yesterday was so fulfilling and was so graceful with the turnout. So let, 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 let's, let's bring uh, some context to the conversation, uh, the band, on this particular one. So walk us through uh, some of the, the processes that informed some of the records that you put out in this particular album before we talk about the level of reception. Oh, thank you so much. Um, so like I was saying, in 2008, I came out with uh, Entertainer Chapter One. Um, and I was saying to people that most times when people ask me, the band, what do you do? I tell them, I'm not just a singer, I'm not just a, a performer, but I'm an entertainer. And I think that was properly represented in the 2008 release, Entertainer. So fast forward to 20 years after in 2004, me coming out with a new body of work, I thought it right to just, uh, you know the way you say iPhone, where you update your iOS. I just thought it right to let the people know the updated iOS of I'm the band. And, um, and I would say it's the best work that I've done so far, and I'm grateful to God for that. Um, in doing this, I thought to myself in 2004, who were the people that were inspiring me? Who were those that I looked up to and saw that, you know, whatever they were doing that time kind of like inspired what I wanted to do globally? And so working with collaborating with the likes of Yusubundo, Wyclef Jean, Akon, Awilo Logumba, those are the people that when I was uh, uh, trying to release my first single in 2004, if you look at the whole... African music genre, those are the people that inspired us, those are the people that were actually um, exporting um, African music in the way that I thought that should be. So in putting a body of work together, I went after those that represented me. And that's what, and that's what everybody's enjoying right now. I cannot wait for you guys to hear it. Um, Wadi, which is the track featuring the legend, Yusuf Undo, was so special because I remember, I think I was 20 years old when I first heard of Yusuf Undo. And meeting him and working with him in 2024, when I'm celebrating 20 years, and he's celebrating 40 years in the music industry, is so emotional, is so historical, not just for me, but for my generation and the next generation to come. I think it's important right. for us to hold ourselves together um, as one. All right, Demand, so, so to be clear, you are, you are an OG on this particular one. So. As an OG, I know that you're seeing OG the new... <laughs> before IG. <laughs> As an OG, I know that you've seen the new cats in the game, um, holding it and breaking record. Does it? Does do you feel concerned, worried, threatened, or I, I, I'm trying to look for the right words because they'll say, "Oh, the band, that was their time. This is our time." So, how do you intend to break through some of the numbers we are seeing with these young guys who are 
breaking records across the world with Afrobeat? Um, the truth is, there is, for me personally, there is no competition. Um, I'm actually just fulfilling my destiny. And I'm the most exciting person when I see everything that is happening with, you know, the um, Nigeria or African music scene. Because this is what we preached. This is what we actually set out to do from 20 years ago. And then people didn't understand what we're doing. People just felt that, you know, they were trying to go global or we're just trying to uh, make things happen. But to fast forward to today, where what we preach, what we sacrificed is what is happening. It's, it makes me feel like a proud father. So, um, and I always tell people that collaboration is the new competition. I think I've been saying this for a couple of years now. Um, LD competition is collaborating together. So working on this album, I worked with people that, you know, like you said, you said the next generation, you said the new cat, but I am a new cat. They call me the Gen Z daddy. You understand what I'm saying? So it is, there's no change. It's just, it's just constantly moving and contributing that quarter of yours as a vessel to the world. And so um, uh, yesterday was so great. We had the likes of Bella Shmoda, the likes of Odumodu, the likes of Fino coming in. And I think it's just, it's just because we've always collaborated in the past. And I've seen myself as a pace setter that I believe that that's what I've seen. So you look at me and you see visible hope. I remember when we started this, there was no collaboration. There was nobody going global. And because we took that risk, today people were doing it. So um, I'm glad that God gave me the grace to be able to do it two points uh, to raise with you the band first the video you put out on your handle a lot of people are expecting the full movie by the way so if you've not started working on it we need to see a movie from that video but you were uh, you know in captivity and we saw the people who held you in captive say ah you've gotten married you've cleaned up your act people are asking are you back are you back and then you go on to say well how can I be back when I never left and then this happened Don Jazzy came, <laughs> who you've called Don Wick, and he rescued you, basically. I mean, tell us uh, the inspiration behind that, because I know there's obviously a message as well. Can, a lot of people were happy to see Don Jazzy doing what Don Jazzy does best. Shout out to Don Jazzy. Um, shout out to Olamide Badu. Um, those two specifically, while working on the album, are people that I felt that and um, over time we've connected and what we've built together uh, was important to bring into this. So Don Jazzy and Olamide are my co-executive producers on this album and just like you saw in the trailer, I think it was a message to everyone. You know, people asking me, um, I used to do music, where have you been, what have you, are you, are you gone, are you back, are you this? I remember watching a movie called John Wick and it was almost the same thing happening to, you know, the young guy, Keanu Reeves in the film where you know you set up priorities and i believe in 20 years um you, you definitely got to know in different stages of your life on your way to your destiny what you need to achieve so there were times where i focused on the music there were times where i needed to focus on my family and my personal life to build you know a home for myself and so in saying all this i was like wait where did you go because a soldier you know, drops his gun doesn't mean that he's no longer a shooter, it doesn't mean he's no longer a sniper. And I think that goes not just for me, not just for Don Jazzy, but for everyone in my generation and the next generation. So he said, you know what, let us put something out there. Let people know that, ah, this is what is about to come. And just like an entertainer, it's not just about the music, it's not just about the visuals, it's about the full package. So yes, get ready to possibly see the documentary of the band's 20 years, or even another movie like a biopic. But I would like to let people know and bring them into my world so that they can see through my eyes. And that's what you're seeing there. So for all those people where they ask questions before they ah, the band, Don Jazzy, the band, Don Jazzy, what's happening? Where are they? Are they fighting? Are they not fighting? You have your answer there now. I must greet you successfully. <laughs> Fantastic. And we expect to see all of that energy in the latest album, The Entertainer, the sequel. Final word from me, or it's not a word really, it's just a question. So I recently got the harmonica, right, the bands, and I've been learning to oh. play this thing. Apparently, it's not easy. So I, I've learned Do to Saw. So. Let me try it. Please show me Do Re Mi Fa Fa Let me try it again. The band, it's not easy. How do you do this thing? I, I, it's really tough. How do you I know, my brother, do this I'm thing? Happy. It's really tough to play. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, so, I'm so happy that you tried it now. I think um, being my signature and the instrument that I play, I remember when I was 19 years old, 
uh, and when I picked up the harmonica and tried to play, no one taught me. I remember going to Muson Center in Lagos, Victoria Island, to ask if I could enroll to be taught, and they said no one actually teaches that. And the only person I could study was, um, of course, the great legend, Steve Wonder. And so it's like playing the saxophone, but you, the more you blow out, you also have to pull it in. So when you blow out, you get do. When you draw the air in, you get re. And you can continue like that. But those are part of the secrets we give you as an entertainer. You know, in case you don't understand what we are doing, just follow us. We give you a I was just going to say, Kayode can't just get that lesson. He has to pay you the bunch so I can manage that payment transaction. For I you. agree. Uh -huh. Good. Oh my <laughs> God, that is part of you know that is part of music business because there is the, yes. there is the show business, there yes. is the show part, and yes. there's the business part, exactly. and that is part of what we are bringing. You know that you have to look for a way to balance both. Mm, that is one true. thing I want to preach <laughs> to people out there that you know talent is not just enough. You mm. have to look for the right management. You have to have the right true. backing, and all these together help you make a star. So please enroll in my harmonica <laughs> teaching class by Professor Banga. It's my for free. Don't um, worry. All right. But on a final note this time, I like the part where you said that you have updated. It's like updating the iOS into the final stage and you are yeah. there already, which means you have grown over the years. So for your album right now, there's a message you're sending out. What is that message that you're sending out and what is the big lesson you have learned in your 20 years experience in the music industry. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Um, in bringing up being true to yourself, um, Africa is indeed worthy. We need to look within ourselves and be able to take ourselves. When you say importer, exporter, is because we export the culture and we import, you know, the education to these people. So please, um, if you if you ever love the genre, if you've ever thought that, uh, where is the way out? I'm telling you that collaboration is the new competition. Content is the new crude. A lot of people now, they are shouting, crude oil, crude oil, crude oil. But content, which is what the creative industry brings, is just natural, just like the crude oil. You have to refine it and then sell it, which is what you creating your talent is doing. So please don't give up. Those of you investing on the back end, please do not. Content is the new crude and it's our biggest export. There's no better time to hold ourselves one. And that's what this body of work stands for. All right. That's a great way to end this Dapo Oye Banjo. Bangali Coco Master. Exporter, Oshé. importer, cocoa water. So thank you very much for coming Oshé. on the Morning Brief. I wish you the very best and we support you always. All right. Thank well you so done. Much. Thank and you so much. Oh shit, don't get it twisted. Love, love is, is a beautiful, beautiful thing. thing. <laughs> if you are still sitting down, you are on a long thing. I love you, Nigeria. Feel it. All right, on a very long thing if you're still sitting down. But we are sitting down, but we are, <laughs> we'll get up very soon too. Thank you very much for watching The Morning Brief. Thank God it's Friday. Have fun. Make yourself happy. Thank you for watching. I'm Anne Wawadu. I'm especially happy for the band. Keeping that energy even after 20 years, that's sure. commendable. He it says he's not a singer necessarily, he's yeah. an entertainer. That's a good lesson. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I'm Jeff Ruzano. And as a new student of the band school of harmonica, <laughs> let me just quickly run through this. Kaede, you, you're, you're disturbing my ears. Kaede, you're disturbing my ears. You did next class. <laughs> go and learn well before you come here. I'm Kaede, you're the sunrise daily next. Uh.